Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. As you can see, we have a pretty big unboxing here. I already opened the box because it's pretty big. And hold up, what does it say here? 1 to 400 Pabieda, Boeing 737-800. Hold up, hold up, I'll be back. We got, we got this. To this unboxing as you can see we really do have quite a lot of uh, models here you know just a little preview here i got this one a couple days back at the um delta fly museum i think that's what it's called and then these other ones are models that came last week and the korean air just came in actually today when i'm recording this so yeah as you can see i think that's all of them nope yeah. whoops as you can see, we do have quite a lot of models here. Alrighty, let's start off here with the uh, smallest one, with the NG Models 737 MAX 7. Alrighty everybody, so a little change of plans, here we have the 737 MAX 7 from NG Models. As you can see, I did move inside. That is because there was some commotion outside and that would kind of ruin my video but here we have the um 737 max 7 so um as you can see it is a blank livery but nah it still looks really um the bold here it looks pretty all right in the first impressions of course we have the standard um 737 max features you know the winglets the engines with the chevrons right there Everything seems to look pretty good, um, you know. I'll have to give it a further look um, to actually find any issues. But for now, this aircraft looks really stunning, even if it's in a blank livery. So let's keep going with the blank aircraft. And here we have the really long Boeing 737 MAX 10. Um, first impressions. <laughs> This aircraft is really long. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's just it's crazy how much they could really stretch that 737. You know, a design that we had for around 60 years. You know, here comparing it to a 737 Max 7. Um, yeah, it looks like there's basically two of these. Um, you know, added together to make this 737 Max 10. Um, looking at it. It seems to be pretty good. Maybe the only thing is the cockpit windows look a little too high. But again, this is a not even certified aircraft. And we only have a couple flying examples of this bird. Okay, so we're done with the all white aircraft. And let's move on to a aircraft that has a little bit more color. So here we have the Air France Hope um, Embraer 195. And this aircraft is, well, it has some issues already, I can spot it. First off, there is a pretty big gap, as you can see there, in between the insert and where the tail is actually inserted. It is pretty annoying and it is pretty visible. Another issue that I found is this antenna. As you can see, the insert, it sticks out a little too much. Um, it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be more flush with the aircraft. So yeah, this mod mold is already not a perfect um, mold. I mean, it's not a perfect aircraft here, but the livery, you know, it's all right. It's a F France livery. It's pretty basic. They do have the older titles, as you can see there, um, because the newer ones are bigger billboard titles. So yeah. So here we have another CPR model here. This is one of those uh, free NG models. And the weird thing is this one came with a card. You know, usually they remove the card because it's a free product, but um, this one had it. So that's a, that's a nice bonus right there, I guess. But here we have the Transavia 737-800. And this livery is already a little bit more exciting than the F-Cons one. 
because the title was slightly bigger and the colors, well, they were a little bit interesting. But here we have the nose of the aircraft, the mm -hmm. Transavia titles, the CFM 56 engines, the winglet right there, the registration, which is PHHXA. We have some little like, graphics on the tail there. I'm not sure if it's like the different flags of the country or if it's the KLM F Hans logo right there. Turning it to the other side, we have the nose, the Transavia logo. Yeah, this mold is a really nice mold from NG. Of course, we are, everyone knows it. But yeah, nothing really special on the bottom. Oh, it's actually, hmm. I thought it was just like, um, I don't know if you can see it, it has some like little like, oh, it's a window and a little like castle. Ooh. That's cool, actually. I didn't know they had that um, on the bottom. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a pretty solid model airplane here. Um, the reason I got it is, of course, I need it for a Gothenburg. But yeah, that's all. Well, here we have the Delta Airbus A220-100. This is the one that has a window in the bathroom. So <laughs> that's a little fact that probably a lot of you knew. But yeah, so this aircraft the reason why i got it is i was at the delta flight museum and i wanted to get a little souvenir for myself to remember the trip they didn't have anything interesting except the um, delta a220s and i'm like you know i needed a delta a220-100 since the 717 is getting retired um this year so i needed something to replace i was i was supposed to get this model quite a while ago but i kept pushing it back and finally i got it so this is the, I think this is the, yeah, this is the Gemini Jets mold of the A220, which is better than the Herpa mold that they used to use. Now, the final aircraft for this unboxing is this Korean Air 747-8. This <laughs> is probably the best aircraft in this unboxing just how big it is and the korean air livery i really like it um you know it's blue it's much better than white and it is one one of the only airlines to still fly the 747 so actually a cool little thing about this particular registration which is hotel oof oh that's not um that's uh that's not good right there well i was so excited until i saw that 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 just was really disappointing you know it's not even like a broken landing gear or a broken engine that's that's like permanent right there which is it was really annoying i swear like hmm. I'm, I'm disappointed now but yeah here we have the aircraft it's it's still nice but that, that's really disappointing yeah so i actually saw this aircraft last year at jfk airport this same registration which is that's actually kind of cool well already everybody hope that you enjoy this unboxing here it it was good and also disappointing um you know the first part of it was pretty good, but then we got to this plane right here, which had some issues. The most disappointing one is, is, is just that. That's, I don't know, that kind of ruined my mood for today. Because I was really excited about this aircraft, um, just so big. And I saw this in Atlanta a couple of days ago, and just how impressive it was. And I don't know, that, that, why, why, why does that happen? Why? Like, hmm. But yeah, anyways, I hope that you did enjoy this video, and of course, fly safe.